morning, wonderful friends. It's a beautiful day here in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. Today, we're gonna check out a little bit more progress that we're making on the foundation and excavation and stuff for our house. And on that note, I don't really have too much to do myself to help out. So I'm gonna be looking at doing some projecting here in the bus. Previously, the last basically six months, We've been on our property, living in the bus. We pulled a permit with the county to be able to do it legally. That's a whole story in itself. But we've been living in the bus, and basically what we found out is that it's just really difficult to build the bus out when we're living in it. So we said, hey, we're gonna grab a condo, because it's cold anyway. So we got a condo, and we are progressing, working on the bus all the while everything's working with the house. So we have a ton of stuff going on and yeah, let's just go through it. But first, let's go check out what's going on down at the house. Okay, so first thing, right off the bat, our electrician came out and set up a temporary power pedestal to be able to hook in right here to our big transformer that our power our entire property um that's really exciting so today i think the county is going to come out and inspect it so tomorrow or the next day excel can come out and actually hook this up so we'll have power out here so we've had power in our tiny studio solar and battery uh set up for the last year and a half or so but it, you know, having unlimited power while you're trying to build things is really, really nice. And not to mention in the future being able to run space heaters or anything that takes a little bit of extra power. So that's pretty exciting news. Let's check out what they're doing with the foundation over here. So last time we were out here, none of this trench was filled in on either side. So, I mean, today they have just been busting it out. Yeah, dude, these guys are freaking awesome. So, it looks like they're gonna be backfilling and grading everything out uh, today and maybe tomorrow. But right here, it looks like what they said is it's gonna come down. There's gonna be a little slope that's gonna come from, from the house to the final grade. And then they'll put some topsoil on afterward and you know, maybe in the end we'll gravel it, pea gravel it, or plant some stuff, get some good soil in there. All right, so we got that checked out. Dude, they're making some serious progress. Found out they're gonna end up finishing backfilling probably today and work on sorting some more rocks and whatnot and hauling off some rocks. And then they're actually gonna start trenching for our propane line, power line, and our water line. So we got a lot of stuff going, man. A lot of stuff moving, it's freaking awesome. But my priority today is gonna to be a fun little project that I have been wanting to do for a while. Basically, we have a generator that we run every so often to recharge our batteries when it's not sunny enough or if we just need um, more power temporarily. And so I've been wanting to build a little generator shed or generator house to keep it protected from weather and whatnot and so that it's not quite as loud so let's get rolling so this is what we got so far literally nothing i want to build something that actually is going to protect it and just not have it to be so loud when we do have to run it because to be honest i hate generators anyway i wish at the time that we had enough money to invest more in solar and wind and batteries to get everything rolling the way we need to we just, we got to do what we got to do so in the meantime we're going to take care of this let's go I was just talking to uh, one of the dudes helping us out with the excavation and he, <laughs> he asked, do you guys have a llama? Or whose llama is that? Because uh, there's a free ranging one that goes kind of throughout the valley in here. Um, one of our neighbors owns it. So. All right, this is what we got. Maybe we can use some of this stuff. Ooh. 
first, or we can use this. And this. All right, kind of disappointed. Didn't really have as much two by four material as I was hoping. I think we can make do with what we have. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, got my roof walls right here. They're gonna go pitch like this, like a little A-frame style, and then it'll just come down. So now I need my, my lower walls. So this thing is definitely nothing to write home about, but it's gonna serve its purpose. And I'm gonna try to, you know, make it a little more aesthetically pleasing. And we'll see how this thing goes. There for a second I forgot how to shingle. And I started my top row first. I'm just gonna peel it off because I have plenty of shingles. But yeah, when you shingle you always start from the bottom. I always leave about a half inch, three quarter of an inch overlap depending on what I'm gonna do for my siding. So I'm gonna finish this thing up. Okay, so after a nice day, a little projecting, here's our little generator shed. So it is nothing fancy at all. I used literally just scrap wood and scrap shingles that I had around, but it is good shelter for that generator. It's well ventilated. Um, I think it'll be great for the rest of the winter. And then honestly, after the winter, we won't need it because we'll have permanent power put in. So yeah, fun little project for the day. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going today? We're going to Arizona. And yeah, it's been it's been a minute since we've been to Arizona, but we are going, or I am going for work for the next 10 days. And so this first weekend, I'm bringing the fam with me. So I'm really excited. They're gonna get to come and um, check out some alligators and things at this place, or this event called Cajun Fest. And then we're getting ready and geared up for Super Bowl next week, so. Bring the whole family with me to have some fun. Bye. Bye. But first, but first we're gonna go pack up stuff on the property bye, and make bye, sure bye, 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 everything bye. is going well bye, there. Bye, bye, bye. As planned. As planned. Bye. Bye. Do you have your books for school? Brain? Yeah. Oh, good. Bye. bye. I love you, Everly. Bye. Bye. We love you. Are you following me? Yeah. Yes. What? No. Stop following me. Ooh, look at that girl. Look at that girl. Oh, there she is. We love you, Everly. Back on the property, the guys are back at it, digging our trenches for propane and water. Looks like we're going to wait for electric because it turns out to be more cost effective to have XL Energy trench and bury the line all in one fell swoop. We're still living on cloud nine that we are fortunate enough to have this beautiful property we get to call home after years of being full time on the road. Our 
water line will run up this road and around the corner to our wellhead. It's a long run, but we decided on this to try and future-proof for future development ideas, including a community room for having visitors. This is a more strategic location, considering future plans. Okay, so... Looks like we've done what we need to do for the day here on the property, and... I think we're gonna head back into town, get some work done on our laptops, pick up the kiddos, and then head out to Arizona. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, checking out to see what's happening on the property, and we will see you guys next week. If you haven't already, we would love for you to subscribe and follow, and if you have something to say about this episode, please leave us a line in the comments. Peace out, guys.